Well, hello everyone, welcome to the Gamers Lounge, and this is Michael. Now, I know there are quite a few reviews of Stray um, on YouTube now, but this is just a very quick showcase, also because I want to share this with my Instagram page. And uh, But um, I'm quickly showing you one of the later levels in the game. I'm not going to give you any spoilers, I'm not going to spoil any parts of the story or anything like that, because for those of you that haven't played it and you're thinking about it, don't think anymore because it's one of the best games released so far. Um, this is the PS5 version and this particular level is, um, I wouldn't say it's halfway into the game, I'm not 100% sure, but um, like I said, I'm not going to be revealing too much. But I will tell you, um, when I first um, saw this announced and I saw the trailer, it really did appeal. Even if I couldn't quite fathom the idea of um, playing as a cat, but yeah. It's actually more than not bad. It's, it's actually even more than good. It's bloody good. First of all, the visuals, as you can see, are superb. So it's a bit like playing cyberpunk, but from a cat's perspective, and why not? The only part of the story to actually give away is what you can see. Um, everything's now inhabited by robots. There's not a single sign of a human. We don't know where they've gone and uh, that's still a mystery um, even when you reach this particular level midtown now you can explore all nooks and crannies of the city just like a cat would do and um, I think this is the closest we'll ever get to being a cat and thinking how a cat thinks I mean if I were a cat I'd do the same as him I'd just go exploring the place and see if I can uh, scrounge a few tidbits um, it has a lot of atmosphere. The soundtrack is is brilliant throughout um, whichever level you're in from beginning to end. It's got a really fitting soundtrack, which doesn't interfere, but it adds to the atmosphere. You can talk to all the robots. You can go inside, um, well, all places that you see open, and you can get as much information as you can about the story. I won't talk to anyone here because if I do, it might reveal something. But what I will say is um, it, this is one of the best games released uh, this year and it's getting a lot of attention. Not only that, but I have two dogs and um, when I press the, uh, the circle button, the cat will mew. And my dogs always kind of, you know, immediately stand up and um, prick up their ears and tilt their heads it's in a more charming way. They're not at all offended by it. And, um, you know, they don't want to jump into the screen and chase it. <laughs> but I've heard stories that other dogs do. But um, it's still a very interesting and charming reaction. But, yeah, I'm just marvelling at these beautiful neon-lit graphics. And the city is amazing. Oh, yes, I did forget one thing. Some of the robots that go for a stroll, you can trip them over. So they stagger and fall flat on their face. And they do fall over. you just got to sort of creep up on them. Um, I've been doing it a few times in an earlier level and it, it doesn't get old. <laughs> He's not doing it now. It really doesn't get old, it's funny. Go on, mate. Take a tumble. <laughs> Go on, we got to do this. <laughs> and there you have it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. And I hope it's enticed you to... Um, buy the game because it is really really worth it and um, for those of you that have subscribed to the um, various PS Plus um, premium packages um, I'm not sure about the non-premium one but anyway uh, you can download it for free so um, enjoy ciao ciao